All right, you guys, I got my coffee, so hopefully I don't get tongue-tied. Shout out to Brandon. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. You guys, listen, this is crazy. I'm going to try to do this real fast, <clears throat> even if I have to do a part two. <sighs> because just like me just walking by the TV and seeing something... When I got my first vision of a rainbow or my uh, open vision of a rainbow and kept seeing rainbows all around. You guys, I don't even watch TV. My TV's on right now, but I'm so busy. Anyway, um, you guys, I told you about the, the rainbow and then the uh, black cross that I saw to the right of it, I automatically uh, uh, rejected it because I don't, like, I feel like that symbol of a black cross would be antichrist, for the lack of a better word. So, I really feel like me going to bed and seeing that TV, um report about the manger on the left and the uh, pentagram with the Baphomet in the middle uh, was all going to lead me into my dream because it grieved my spirit and I believe I got my answer, uh, a twofold answer um, to that dream with the verse that I was given. Okay, you guys. So, Brother Ace mentioned the fact that he thought um, the young lady that I saw in my dream who took the call from Hillary Clinton might be getting orders to uh, stir up some things, some, some, some type of uh, staged event if you will, and perhaps even involving uh, staged actors um, because Shamar Moore was back there also. And also, um, Brother Caleb, he said something on his videos today. He, he said um, that he was talking about fake news, and he said that we know that these TV shows, um, the news outlets get their reports handed directly from the government to report on. And then it clicked with me. So, in the dream, you guys, the young girl who took the phone call from Hillary Clinton to go into the kitchen and mix up some spicy dip, some jalapeno dip, um, so that they could stage some type of quarrel or fight Keyword being fight, I believe. Um, I don't think there's going to be a literal uh, dip use, but if you think about spicy and uh, something burning up, it would make you think about nuclear war. I'll get back to that in a minute. <clears throat> so she took the phone call. Um, today, I did not see... Um, Hillary Clinton talking about her loss to Trump, but I sure saw Bill Clinton talking about Hillary's loss to Trump and blaming it on Russia hacking. You guys, they are pushing this thing. Um, I know I made a Facebook post about it, but I don't believe that I mentioned it. Um, and I probably should have. They are pushing this thing with Russia and talking about retaliation. Um because of the hacking, you guys, uh, whatever hacking that they believe Russia was doing, Obama knew it, about it ever since last year. So now he picks this time um, to talk about Russia hacking our, our, our elections and being really aggressive with it. <sighs> anyway, you guys, so I... In the dream, I saw Shamar Moore. He was in his underwear. They were like thermal uh, boxers. 
And I thought about the boxers today because I was just in Marshall's, you guys. I went out to grab some things. Um, he was in these thermal dark blue, may have been black, but like a navy colored uh, boxers, uh, briefs. I don't know what you call them, y'all. Um, so anyway, and he was fine. And I was mesmerized with him. And you guys, I, I have been... I, well. I used to be, like, back in the year 2000, I used to be, like, like I really, this is before Facebook, and when he had a fan page, I would just be, I just thought he was so uh, mesmerizing. So, anyway, today, when I, after making the video, I come in, and I see two parts of a show, one going off, which was the real, and this is like a talk show, and they were on the um, on there talking about Kanye, Kanye West. They were totally twisting what we all know was a a, a real cry um, of help for him. Um, no matter how much we all think he's disturbed, but this girl in the dream who took the phone from Hillary Clinton uh, looked like one of the girls on the reel. She was a uh, uh, fashion forward. She had these uh, things on her nails. She had these things in her hair. Uh, when I was describing it in a dream, I was saying like, you know, um, she was a millennial, and I believe this young lady here is a millennial. Anyway, you guys, she's she, the show is called The Real, but we know <laughs> I, you can't trust TV in the mainstream uh, reports. Shamar Moore came on the next show. I guess I think I took a, a shower. And by the time I came back out, Shamar Moore was on Wendy Williams talking about his new uh, movie. The name of the movie is called Bounce Back Nation. You guys, I saw him. Uh, he was talking to Bill Bellamy, and he pointed to him, and he did the devil horns like this. It was no reason for him to do that. Uh, but he was pointing, and he had on these uh, these uh, bad boy gloves. And the whole, well, the whole little segment that I watched, because I had to stop and watch, y'all. <laughs> um, they were talking about him being a, a, a sex symbol, um, um, how people are um, just mesmerized by him uh, all the time. I think this is going to be, uh, of course, how the, the Antichrist is. Uh, he'll, have, he'll, he'll speak with many flatteries. Flattery is a, a, a form of manipulation to get an end result. Um, so if we think about it, anyway, you guys, I think the fact that he was in his underwear... <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad now. The Lord used him to show me a sign of the Antichrist. In Revelation 13, um, the phrase, to make war with the saints. You guys, I really think that they are staging an event. Uh, either they're going to stage it or it's going to be war. And, of course, it's going to bring destruction. And uh, what other way for the Antichrist to rise up out of the ashes? Um this kind of just reading, kind of matching my dream to the to the book of Revelation thirteen. Um, I I think I'm more confused now about who's going to be the the uh, Antichrist. Many people have seen uh, Obama getting the deadly head wound, but that's the first beast. And correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't the second beast the Antichrist because he comes up after the first beast? And um, just let me make something clear, because I got a revelation on this the other day before I end this video. Um, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You know, you guys, I know I mentioned something. And here is the patience of the fate. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints 
you know, I, I did mention something about uh, people running up in my house <laughs> in the last video. But in this, uh, this, this scripture, I don't know where I heard of that, but they were saying that all of those who are um, being used by the beast system um, to kill and uh, to run can uh, concentration camps and things of that nature, uh, the Antichrist don't like nobody. So you're going to risk the opportunity of you. You're going to risk the chance of you getting your life taken because he's going to kill you. <laughs> he hates everybody. Not only the saints, he hates everybody. And, uh, but he will be deceptive in that in the beginning. Uh, I really do believe that verse, um, has been taken out of context and I'm glad, um, I got what I believe was the revelation of that. One more thing, you guys. Um, Ace did a video on the Catholics, the Vatican, the Pope. And he had a scene in there where they pretty much worship the dead and they dress them up. And they were kissing on them and so on and so forth. And he, he, there was a phrase in the video, um, or someone was speaking and said, perhaps, but I think it was a phrase, all these people are poor. The kids are poor, but the Vatican is using the money to build up his castle and store all these dead people, basically. <laughs> and, <clears throat> Do whatever he wants to. I mentioned this because in my dream, uh, the skating ring in the field, it was dusty. I, I, I didn't see the skating ring. I just knew it was uh, like this put together thing for these kids to, to have fun. Um, I wasn't skating in the dream. I just knew it was out in the, in the middle of like a field or a dusty area, uh, uh, a makeshift thing, something like how we used to uh, play kickball. We used to put together anything. Um, and then at the top of the hill was a car wash. I did go somewhere last night where this is considered uh, the hood. <laughs> and there was a car wash up on the hill. Um, but the dead bodies all made up looking like they were about to go into a funeral. They're coming in in droves. You guys, this thing kind of looked like uh, how they were uh, carrying in these. Um, I know I said in a dream they were in uh, hearses, and, but I could see the caskets. I could see uh, the people on top of the caskets, if that makes sense, all dressed up and made up. Um, I really think these two have to go together. The Lord was drawing my attention to uh, the Vatican, um, the Pope. And however he plays in these end times with the Antichrist. So, you guys, if there's anything that I miss, I will come back and make a part two. I just wanted to give you some revelations that I have gotten so far. There probably is going to be a part two, okay? I remember some things, but I don't want to make this video too long. All right, good night, you guys.